Shalom. Yeah, Shalom. We want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakach, Wadash. Double honesty, the apostles. Yeah, that's so great to it. A salutation to the sincere Akim, the hundred four four thousand men, the one third men, women, children elected to be saved in these last days. All right, this is my brother Yawasa. Brother Yakal. All right, just want to do a quick lesson on um, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai being a jealous power. All right, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai is a jealous power. He's very, very jealous, you know. And um, you know, we're just gonna share, you know, share through the Spirit. Holy Spirit led us to. I know um, as the Spirit leads, we're going to bring out um, something hopefully to edify, you know, the brothers and sisters that are watching, all right? Yeah, because the Mosai is a, is a jealous power, and jealous meaning that the Mosai ain't going ain't to tolerate, you know, you having another lover, spiritually speaking, right? You being, you being partaker with another God or another or, or a wicked person in this in this time, all right? And we all could testify how Yahweh Hashem shall have pulled us away and deliver us from ancient people, heathens and and niggas niggas in the world and niggas in and niggas that was um was in the camp, all right? Yeah. Um, where that? Yeah. Exodus chapter thirty-four, <coughs> verse twelve. It says, "Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant." With the inhabitants of the land mm -hmm. where thou goest, lest it be for a sneer in the midst of thee. Yeah, so we, we gotta take heed to ourselves. Take heed means that be careful. Be careful what we careful what we what we do and say. Because we're currently in Babylon, you know. The worst this is the worst time and the worst place the and the worst state that the world is in right now. And it could be a snare, it could be a trap for us. Could be a trap. You could step up easy because you know Isa got so many ways and things that could that could that could make you go off or, or doing shit unconsciously. Likewise, these two thirds. All right. You read that? Yeah, can. It says um, thirteen. But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. Mm -hmm. Now this is this is talking about back in back in Exodus, um, physically speaking, all right. But spiritually, we got to break these bonds that we had with these people break the bonds that we had with these these places these these um the these um customs of this world all right these images like like uh, worshiping these brand names and worshiping you know vain things vanity and and so forth good huh yeah can verse 14 for thou shalt worship no other god for yahweh whose name is jealous is a jealous power yeah whose name is jealous is a jealous power all right because he don't want you to serve him half halfway or 99.9 .9, the most i want 100 because why Who, what could be better than serving him and you, you know we're going to go into the scripture say you can't be partakers of both worlds so you just gotta we just gotta stay focused and understanding who who is it that that we're that we're serving? Who is it that that we're putting our energies and our time towards? Go ahead, up. next verse fifteen. Yeah, verse fifteen it says, "Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, mm -hmm. and they go a whoring after their gods, mm -hmm. and do sacrifice unto their gods, mm -hmm. and one call thee, and thou eat of a sacrifice." Yeah, so you don't want to you know, sacrifice your time to idol to idleness you know, to the vanities of this world to the foolishness of people like for example i find myself just not uh um, true spirit not not like taking people on or really putting the effort into into responding back to people just just leave them as leave them as is correct them correct them through the spirit and if they want to hear they want to hear you just just be about my business do what i gotta do stay focused keep things short and simple and to the point all right, want to say something? Else? Yeah, even the scripture say, um, is a Sirach chapter thirty-two. Mm. It say that you know, let your speech be short, mm -hmm. you know, comprehending much in few words, yeah. you know, to the point that you made with, you know, when you speak, especially to two thirds, you don't want to prolong a conversation in them because the scripture say in um, Sirach eleven that a wicked man could take in in your words, you know. Uh -huh. So if you have too much of 
you know, a prolonged conversation with him, you know, he could smile upon you and get out your secrets, yeah. which he gonna lay up to use to do you evil, yeah. you know? Yeah, this is Deuteronomy chapter uh, 7 and verse 2, it says, And when the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Haushai, thy power shall deliver them before thee, Thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, mm -hmm. nor show unto nor show mercy unto them. Alright, so this is Solomon literally back back in the time when the most high delivered us from Egypt, right? Mm -hmm. But um we can't show these people mercy. We can't give them no inch, not even a millimeter, because they can they can they can take you for fool. They can think they can think um you let your guard down. Alright? You gotta be strict. The scripture said that Yahweh Shai was an austere man and we need to be in that spirit. Can't be tolerating nonsense, all right? And when it says utterly destroy them, it's like uh, one of our brothers over here, right? <laughs> he <don't laughs> he's like, he's good to work, <laughs> ready for war, right? He always cut in. Cause you know, when, when he first came to the truth, he was telling us, right? When he first came to the truth, you know, it was a cut session. You know, he was bloodthirsty. He's one wet your blade. So he still worked in the same place. Most of you haven't moved him from there yet. So, they, you know, now he has a reputation. A, a, a good reputation. You understand? And he lays he lays down his order. So nobody don't really have much to say to him because he laid down he laid down his the order. He laid down his um his mentality, his mindset, his 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 heritage, <laughs> you know? His itation as we would say. <laughs> And nobody don't cross him, nobody don't want to step, step on it too because you know he's always prepared, his blade is ready. Alright? So we can't show them no mercy or make no covenant with them and so forth. You know, you, you can be respectable if it's your boss or whoever, but you have to you have to stand your ground as a man. It's scripture said gird up your lungs like a man. You know. Go ahead, like verse 3. Yeah, verse 3 says, Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto the unto their son, mm -hmm. nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Yeah, so even with these women we're dealing with, you know, even these women we don't get too caught up with them, whether whether it's your wife or just some just a woman you might you might have. You gotta you gotta be circumspect of um of the times because people are really fucking deceiving these days or even more she said the scripture says in our i think it's first timothy chapter three even men and even men and seducers shall wax worse and worse mm -hmm. right go ahead yeah verse four it says for they will turn away thy son from following me mm -hmm. and they that they may serve other gods so will the anger of yahweh be kindled against you mm -hmm. and destroy thy seed destroy thee suddenly come come all right keep going yeah verse 5 it says but thus shall ye deal with them ye shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves and burn their graven images with fire yeah go ahead out it says for thou art an holy people unto you how would i power yeah and what holy means it means separate quadash all right so we're supposed to be separate, it's supposed to be a hedge between us and them. But they can't even peep over. Yeah. Okay. Alright? That they can't they can't even throw nothing over. <laughs> or you or you don't even throw nothing over to them. Because the Mosa is about um, division. If you read in Matthew 24, the Mosai will divide the, the goats from the sheep. And the, among the goats are two-thirds of Israel. Go ahead. Yeah, it says, um, Yahweh, thy power, hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, mm -hmm. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So if we striving to be the elect, the most have chosen us first, right? Chosen us first to be a special people unto himself, because two-thirds don't give a shit about the most high and his laws and commandments and, and his love that he have for us, you know? I have a quick precept we're looking for. Uh, where is it? Is it right here? Yeah, this is Luke chapter 6. 6 and da, 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 22. Yeah, so this is why the Mosai 
call us call the elect men holy first and then the rest of Israel gonna get cleaned up through um through the regeneration by the elect all right this is um Luke chapter 6 verse 22 blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when men shall separate from you separate you from their company and shall and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake all right so we go, we're blessed we're blessed if, if they separate themselves from you. But most of them don't separate themselves. Why? Because they, they waiting for you slip for point of the fingers. I told you so. Or you're a fucking hypocrite and whatnot. We just gotta stay focused, you know. Understand that we are blessed to be separate from these niggas. We're 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 a very um what's the word? Precious, yeah. We're a very precious, precious goal in, in the most high sight. Lord willing we have that number. Uh go ahead. Uh, yeah, um, verse 7. Yahweh did not set his love upon you, mm -hmm. upon you, nor choose you because ye were more in number mm -hmm. than any people, mm -hmm. for ye were fewest of all. Yeah, and that sounds like the leg, but that's talking about Israel back then. But at this point in time, most are looking for the Israel of Israel. Right? So pull them out to the Egyptians. Right? The modern day Egyptians, we should say. Right? Um, go jump to the next precept. Yeah, because the most size is jealous. Is is he's jealous? He wants he wants the best to himself. He wants the first. If you read if you read the last touching commandments, the most I always want the best offering, the first offering. You know the the, the first the first of the best. Right? You're not gonna get the most I know. Pian pian, as we would say. <laughs> Which would, which would mean uh, conquered uh, in, in the English, but we said pian, pian was broken English, so to speak. Something of no value, something vain, something worthless. Something like wood, stubble, or hay. Alright, the most I want, as, as, my, as a lesson I did um, a, couple, a couple days ago, um, the most I want a golden soldier. Alright, go ahead. Up. Yes, Surah chapter 11, verse 9, it says, mm -hmm. Strive not in a matter that concerned thee not. Mm -hmm. And sit not in judgment with sinners. See that? Sit not in judgment with sinners. So a lot of times you to find myself just walking away from conversation because then most I wake you up, right? And and you just wanna you just wanna meditate and precept and you're hearing people just talking about sex and and homosexuality and, and vanity about money this and what they can do for get this and and they are not 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 once to saying the same thank you father for this thank you father for that you know just vain babbling all right that's why, that's why scripture said shun profane profane and vain babbling all right you want to say something up mm, i'll read this back here it says strive not in a matter that concerns you not yes yeah, so don't be nosy of putting in putting in putting your mouth in people business because there was this girl at this time at, at this workplace she was like you heard, you heard with the boss, man. I was like, nope. I'm busy minding my own business. I ain't got time with her. I ain't got time with her. I was like, one thing I love doing is minding my own business. One thing I know is my place. All right? It says, sit not in judgment with sinners. All right? Um, read verse 10, huh? Well, sure. Yeah, verse 10, it says, My son, meddle not with many matters. For if thou meddle much, thou shalt not be innocent. Mm -hmm. And if thou follow after, thou shalt not obtain. Neither shall thou escape by fleeing. Yeah, it says meddle not in many matters. Don't be bouncing around in everybody's business. Don't be bouncing around in, 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 in unnecessary things that can, that can just burden you. Just cut cut certain conversation. I mean, if it coming to you, like for example, I slip up with something, one of my family member coming and asked me why we don't vote. And I should have known better because it was a woman that asked me and I should have dismissed it. It's like, no, I ain't gonna explain it to you because, you know, me on the science scriptures, you're on the science scriptures, it's two different things, and we ain't really got none to debate. I know, but you know, Spirit let me for cut them, and if they didn't want to hear, they didn't want to hear. Because at the end, what guess, what guess what they say? They say, I want you to know that Jesus is Lord, and you cannot be saved unless you serve Him, or it's hellfire. I was like, alright, true, but where's your, where's your defense? Where's, where's, where's your priest of a back? What are you saying? You know? Just a bunch of being bubbly. Um, next precept. Yes, I'm good. Yes, Sirach 21 verse 25. It says. Let me get it. Yeah. 
Great. He says, the lips of the talkers will be telling such things as pertain not unto them. Mm -hmm. But the words of such as have understanding are weighed in the balance. Can You got it, huh? Yeah, it can because like, when you look at uh, uh, niggas, right? They talk about every single thing. Literally. Things mm -hmm. that they talk about their personal life. They talk about other people's personal life. Yeah. You know, talk about things that they don't even need knowing about, much less, you know, spreading it. Well, mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's why the scriptures say they talk about things that pertain not unto them. Okay. Right? But a man of understanding now, you know, you're going, before you say anything, you know, you're going to sit back and think through, mm. you know, hey, is this thing worthwhile saying? Okay. You know? Is it for edifying? Yeah, it's can, you know? Yeah, because if you think about it, all those wicked thinking reality shows and so forth, it's that, it's that kind of got people in this whole gossip and gather spirit, you know? Everybody want to talk about each other's life because what? They start with these celebrities, they start with these soap operas, and then what? They start talking about the, the, the neighbor, the literal neighbor. Instead of going about the business and deal with matters at hand. For example, they deal with work and be more productive, they deal with. Um, the council people are current are current is spirit you know because that's what we do the man and the lord if a brother a brother need advice a brother might have experience a certain experience in life and a brother might ask him yo bro ah, i'm going through x y and z i know you've been through something similar to this Baba Kusha, if you could counsel me and i you know you, you give the brother counsel current in scriptures but no they 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 can they can read um instagram and facebook quotes and feel they this is the biggest philosopher in yeah, this is uh, Sirach chapter 13 on verse 1 it says he that toucheth pitch mm -hmm. shall be defiled therewith mm -hmm. and he that hath fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him okay. it says he that toucheth pitch that shall be um, defiled therewith yeah because if you touch pitch definitely you can get something get black right something get dirty right yeah, can your fingers must get uh, uh, yeah. black? And um, and he that he that had fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. Yeah, cause after a while them same demons on them niggas gonna jump on you. All right, and we all seen that firsthand. And you don't even sometimes you don't even fully dabbling with these niggas and these demons just waiting because why we we in the spirit and these demons just looking looking for for the opportunity. These demons want a challenge. <laughs> you know. Okay. And like the scriptures say, right? Um, uh, I think it was it is in one of the gospels. I can't mm -hmm. remember exactly where it is, but it talk about how a man, you know, when he go back into the world, just roughly paraphrasing, right? Mm -hmm. I was thinking of you know the demons would come and reach his house uh, swept clean, you know, and the demon would come in with itself and seven others, yep. you know, just roughly paraphrasing, and you know. This this what these demons looking for, a clean a clean place to dirty up. Yep. You know. Like a mess. So when them them demons come, that's why we battle with demons. All right. That's why we go through what we go through. Yeah. Right? Or I should say, one of the reasons why. Yeah, and and then the Mosai um reveal to you. Um, why why you're going through or what you're supposed to learn from that, that situation or that moment because if, if you did not you can be a reprobate and you get, and you get caught up in it and what will happen you become just like them and you follow the truth yeah you can can you read yeah read next verse yeah 2 it says burden not thyself above thy power while thou livest mm -hmm. and that's what we were talking about earlier right Don't, they're going to burn yourself when you're getting entangled in a whole set of, a whole set of matters like 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 I see how people strain themselves for, for be caught up in Cardi B lifestyle, Kanye West lifestyle, mm -hmm. and all these celebrities. It's like, you got your own fucking life to worry about. You worry with these people, they're done rich, they, 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 they live in their life. Yeah, can't. They, they're so bored, they, they could openly share their life to you for entertain you. And they don't even need to. Because all they got to do is sing, eat shit, and spend money. But now they, they make the whole life a reality show because why? They, they want the attention, they want the more hype. They want, him, they want him money because they're empty, they're they of no value. And they feel because they have the multitude looking at them, 
and they have this this so-called uh, following and this um influence they feel that there's something of value but then they don't know nobody because we know the most powerful being there is yeah. all right yeah it says board not thyself above thy power while thou livest mm -hmm. and have no fellowship with one that is mightier and richer than thyself God. for how agree the kettle and the earthen pot together mm -hmm. for if the one be smitten against the other mm -hmm. it shall be broken mm -hmm. you know and and you know the one that gonna be broken is the earthen uh, uh, vessel all right yeah the earthen vessel why? Because you can't keep up to the pace. Yeah. You know? Like, you, like, like the brother went into how people would burden them themselves, you know, trying to live a life that is not theirs. Yeah. Or trying to live a, um, a celebrity, you know, lifestyle. Yep. You know? Putting yourself in unnecessary expenses and debt. You know, trying to trying to be um, a celebrity. Yep. Right? What was it? Read verse 9, nine? Sure. Yeah. 13 and 9 Yeah Surah chapter 13 verse 9 It says If thou be invited of a mighty man mm -hmm. Who draw thyself And so much the more Will he invite thee Yeah so we gotta We gotta withdraw ourselves From these mighty men they, You know they, they, I mean your boss might inv Invite you to a dinner And so forth If it's not job related You can decline You can humbly decline It's like I appreciate the offer But I humbly decline like for example, at, at, at my uh, my workplace, they would they would tell me they got a meeting. Then when you when you, when you check the meeting, it's a birthday celebration, and they don't care. They don't care what you feel. They just want you to be there. And if you read verse eight, it says, "Beware that thou be not deceived and brought down in thy jollity," because why they gonna got they got the whole spread of food. They they, they gonna set the stage for you. And they want you partaking though, because why they want that they want that that um, that glory. Right. See, if I could say real quick, this Better. is spirit because this is the um the same precept I was um paraphrasing earlier. Surah 13 and verse uh, six it says, "If he have need of thee, he will deceive thee, mm -hmm. and smile upon thee, and put thee in hope. Mm -hmm. He will speak thee fair, and say what wantest thou." Yeah. See? Right. So what are you gonna what do now? <laughs> Supplant you. <laughs> Deceive you, <laughs> or make you feel nice, give you nice compliments. Mm. This, this is how wicked man does move. Yep. Right. And this we talk to Slack here. Yeah, yeah. Is that real quick? This was somebody in his snare in um in the law. Yeah, can can can. <laughs> this is snare. snare. It's his snare. Oh, Trap. Yeah. Next, you know, you in it. You in ticket things, and he's like, "Fuck, how I get it?" Yeah, Philippians, chapter three, and verse one. Mm -hmm. It says. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in Yahweh. Can and the reason why I bring all this precept, um, cut the track, um, into um, just pause my brother there for a second, is because that's what we do when we meet each other. We praise Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's why it's criticized in um, Psalms one thirty three. How good it is for brothers to unite. Like that, we get a quick Bible track. Psalms one thirty three verse one. It says, "Behold." How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Yeah, because you feel light, you know, you feel light the spirit, you don't feel no pressure. And you, you feel you feel in your right mind. Now you um now that you're with men of understanding, most I gave you understanding. You hold you what you, you choose your words carefully, you be humble, you be quiet. You, you got some sort of self-control because sometimes you will get these impulses as a nigga in the world. Like we could all agree, you get these impulses in, in the world and just feel like doing some random shit that don't that that don't that never benefit your life. You know? Um you wanna say something? Yeah, kind of. Um Philippians 3 and 1 it says, Finally my brethren, rejoice in your hour, right? Mm -hmm. And like you rightfully said that when brothers meet up. You know, one of the first things, if not the first thing, that brothers will do is give praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? Get quick precept. 
chapter. This is um, Surah chapter 15 and verse 9. It says, Praise is not seemly in the mouth of a sinner, Ooh. for it was not sent him of Yahweh. Yeah, boy. That's the only son of the priest ever. Yeah, God. Right? Because, <laughs> hey, so why, why would you keep house with a sinner, you know, knowing that his mind is not according to your mind? God. Right? You ain't gonna praise the Mosai as you do. Because huh. it, it tell you right here that it wasn't sent to, sent to him of the Mosai. Back to Philippians. Philippians 3.1 it says, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in Yahweh to write the same things to you. Mm -hmm. Alright? To be indeed, to be indeed is not grievous. To me. So like it, to me indeed is not grievous. Uh -huh. But for you it is safe. Uh-huh. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of concession. Look up that word from Rahusha. I love to break this up. Division. Mm. Yeah, beware of dogs. And that's what and that's what they are without the law, such a commandments. They're dogs. Because what dogs do this fight for a bone. This is what all them do. All them scraping for reach the top. The top the top that gonna, that gonna turn the bottom very soon. Alright? There's World War trees right on the corner and everybody just fucking you know, worrying about Mondays. It's like, oh gosh, why do they have to be Monday and all them bullshit? It's like your MCM and, and, and throwback Thursdays and all that bullshit. And, and we just trying to endure to the end, Lord willing, that His Spirit remain with us and that we continue to do these lessons and we continue to stay faithful and true. And you know, and the elect like, get sealed and we get out of this bitch, you know? And then, you know, and, you know t this year being a year of prophecy, the scripture says, um, be, thou, be thou with a godly man. So we got to be in these prophecies and not worry that get caught up with carnal things. I mean, you know, there's a balance. can can be over-righteous and over-wicked. But, you know, Yahweh HaShem will guide us. That's why it says, beware of dogs and evil workers because they can be plotting. They always plotting a scheme. They're always thinking how they could rob somebody. How they could just um, make themselves see better by putting you down. Right? Yeah, can. You got to that? Yeah, can. You check you these chants? Yep, yep. Uh, you bring, bring these dictionary and chants, I'm sure. Yeah, um, the word concision in the English dictionary, it says um, consciences. Conciseness. Yeah. Conciseness, mm -hmm. brevity, or terseness. I don't know what he means. Right? No, 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 what he says, one mess with you. Click the concise. Concise in place. No, the third definition. Where? Right? It says a cutting off, a division, a schism, or fraction. Damn. Right? Mutilation. Yeah, mutilation means to cut off something. Right? So that's what they want to do. They want to. Like scripture, like scripture says, um, he that oh, what is, this is the spirit. <laughs> this is the spirit. This is the priest of God. Take right. This is Luke chapter 9, eleven, verse twenty-three. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. All right, then that's a concision. Beware of concision because they're gonna want to separate you. From the men of the Lord. They're gonna tell you, hey, let me go and drink somebody. I got the money, you know. I can pick you up, I can drop you, and bring the girls, everything, then get the full package. And you you know, you can just gotta say, hey, sounds tempting, but fuck that. You know? I gotta go and read these scriptures. I got me wife home, me wife home waiting for you. What wife you got? Sophia. Yeah, okay. I like use I like use the uh the subtlety on them boy. Yeah. Like yeah. one time um the other staff party, right? Mm. I mean, it, it wasn't compulsory, so I didn't go, right? Mm. And this woman, she asked me, um, you going? I said, no, I get better things to do. She, she was like, like what? Like sleeping? Right. You know? <laughs> like sleeping. Because <laughs> something as, as base or as simple as sleeping is mm. more important than going to a staff party that you're going to only find niggas. Yep. Yep. Rejuvenate spirit in your body when you sleep. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Better? For the word um concision, right? Strong's G2699. Kahatomi. Kahatomi. Right? 
it says to cut to cut up nice. mutilation right um ba, 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 from a compound of g2596 and termo to cut a cutting dung mm-hmm. or off that that is mutilation yeah 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 because if if it, if, if i'm not mistaken the etymology this word would be con which is with and scission, which means to cut. cut. Can, can. Go to the next place, about sure. Yeah, First Corinthians chapter ten, verse fifteen. It says, "I speak as to wise men." Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you put now this word for wise men, for those who um, seek learning. That's what the scripture says in Sirach. I labor not all for myself, but for them that seek learning. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. So judge ye what I say. Right? So you can judge through the spirit, you know, if, if we are on point or if or in other words, if the men that you are around or the women or, or the things that we partake in are are are, are wise. Okay. Next verse. Yeah, it says 16 the cup of blessing which we bless is not of the communion of the the cup of of blessing which we bless is it not of the communion of the blood of a mashiach can so the cup is is us partaking us fellowshipping with each other all right it is of yahweh shai is of and it says mashiach right which means of the anointing that means that everybody can be anointed everybody 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 can be elect uh, the scripture says many are called but few are chosen brother yeah the bread which we break is it not of the communion of the body of a Mashiach? Uh huh. Because we are the body. All right. Go ahead. It says, for we being many are one bread mm-hmm. and one, one body. body. Uh-huh. Yep. For we are all partakers of that one, one bread. bread. Yep. Behold, Israel after the flesh are not they which eat of the sacrifice. Silaki, let me read it over back. First Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 18. It says, Behold, Israel after the flesh are not they which eat of the sacrifices, partakers of the altar. Yeah, so Israel, it's talking about after the flesh, right? Talking about Israel entirely. We all we all made a covenant and we all will be saved at the end of the day, right? But go ahead. Huh? 19 it says, What say I then? For the idol is anything or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything Mm -hmm. but i say that the things which the gentiles sacrifice they sacrifice to devils and not to the mosai good because when they when they party when they feast when they celebrate when um, and 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 whatever else it may it may be right Uh, everything else is for is for is for devils it's for vain things Right, they're being influenced by the left hand power. All right, this world is governed by the left hand power, so that's why the Mosai is jealous. All right, because if if you get too caught up in there, you could you get snatched up in that world. All right, you read that? Yeah, can it says read back from the top 20. 20, 20 says, But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, mm-hmm. they sacrifice to devils mm-hmm. and not to the Mosai. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. You see that? Can't have fellowship with devils. Can't have fellowship with devils. And that spirit is heavy on me. I just want to cut everybody off. I just want to me by myself. If I could work by myself, to why how about you know? <laughs> but you know, this is what we gotta go through. We're slaves. We're still slaves. You know. Go ahead. Right yeah. Verse twenty-one. It says. Ye cannot drink the cup of Yahweh mm-hmm. and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table mm-hmm. and of the table of devils. Yes, you can't be two places at one time. You can't be a fence sitter. You can't. You can't be mixing drinks. <laughs> you know, you can't be mixing them drinks. You got. You got to stick to what the most I gave you to drink. The most I gave you milk. The most I gave you water. The most I gave you wine. You want to go drinking um, sweet drink? Most I never put on the table. You want to go drinking sweet drink? So we got we got to drink a cup of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, 
Mighty Cup of Devils. All right. Read verse 22, Bible Kusha. 22, it says, Do we provoke Yahweh to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? Can. So, that's plain as day. Obviously, we're stronger, stronger than the Mosai. And do we intentionally provoke the Mosai to jealousy? <laughs> I didn't sound like just imagine Mosai. Just motherfucker. This, this man. This man just did what he did. You know? The audacity is. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, you know, when the spirit of Yahweh Hashem is showing you, you get a heavy conviction. You just want to be like, like Joseph and just drop everything and run. Because you just feel so, you just feel so unclean when you slip. You feel like shit, you feel unworthy. I mean, we're unworthy, right? But Yahweh Hashem is you want to justify it. Yeah. Right? And the scripture says, First John 3. three. <laughs> you know, that's the free stuff for the season right now. If your mind condemn you, you know, um, you want to say anything? I'll contain the preacher. Okay. You want to read the preacher? Read it, no problem. <laughs> Good. Okay, this is First John chapter three, and verse twenty says, "For if our heart condemn us, mm -hmm. the Mosai is greater." Yeah, First John three twenty says, "For if our heart condemn us, the Mosai is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things." Can. The most is greater than our heart, and he know all things. If he mind condemn us, and you know his prayer would have would have brought us priests of out because um, you know we you know we can feel we can feel bad because you know I've been guilty. Yeah. You know meddling with niggas, trying for trying for make work light, so people won't tell you shit, but eventually they still tell you shit, even though you stand your ground. They are constantly cutting them because why the stiff, the neck stiff as fuck. The neck stiff as shit. They won't turn left nor right. They just head on, leap into the doom. They tell them don't make them jokes around me. Don't I me mean, really want none. Me really got none to say. And they still, they want to try your faith. They want to test you. As you would say, prove your talent. You know? You want to say anything else? You can't. Oh. Plus two, right? Remember, we're still in this flesh, Damn. right? And like, you know, we're gonna slip. Every now and again, you might find yourself, you know, talking shit with two thirds, yeah. right? But as you grow, you know, you you have more um, temperance or control over yeah. um, where you talk on, on certain conversation or how far you would actually. Allow a conversation to go, God, God. right? Because hey, the most I, you coming back to this truth, the most I will put that dominant spirit yep. upon you, right? So you basically would be in control, right? But to the point of this precept is that hey, we still in this flesh, we still gonna slip, and every time we slip, you know, your mind will tell you that you can't bounce back, huh. right? Yeah, it is it for you, but know for sure that if your mind condemn you, you know. Mosai the Mosa is greater than it because he's the one that justifies it at the end of the day. Calm, calm. Yeah. And uh, with that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakafrodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great new stone, a salutation to the sincere Akim that's pushing the truth at a high frequency and Abad Babal. Yeah. Shalom. Shalom.